Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to solve quadratic inequalities. Quadratic inequalities are inequalities that involve a quadratic expression. In order to solve them, first move all terms to one side of the inequality. Next, set the quadratic expression equal to zero. Then, solve for x to get the roots of the quadratic. Finally, we want to test intervals and roots. The intervals are created using the roots from step 3. Using a number line is extremely helpful in this step. For two cases, we do not follow the steps mentioned before. The first case is when you have a quadratic inequality in this form. To solve it, first divide both sides by a. Then use this identity to solve the quadratic inequality. Next case is when the quadratic inequality is in this form, where the sign is just switched. First, divide both sides by a, then use this identity to solve the inequality. If the inequality involves the equal bar, like if it's greater than or equal to, you can still use the identities, just make sure you add the equal bar to the inequality signs. Let's see some examples. First example, we have 2x squared is greater than 32. Since the inequality is in the form ax squared is greater than b, we follow the steps specific to this inequality. First, divide both sides by a. So we divide both sides by 2, then we simplify and get x squared is greater than 16. Next, we use this identity. So we have x is greater than the square root of 16, or x is less than the negative square root of 16. We simplify and get x is less than negative 4, or x is greater than 4, which is our answer. Next example, we have 2x squared minus x is less than 0. First, we want to move all the terms to one side of the inequality. This is already done, so we move on to the next step. Next, we set the quadratic expression equal to zero. Then, we solve for x. We can pull out an x and get x times 2x minus 1 equals zero. Then, we set each factor equal to zero. So we set x equal to zero and 2x minus 1 equal to zero. We solve for x for 2x minus 1 and get x equals 1 half. So we have x equals 0 and x equals 1 half. Finally, we want to test intervals and roots. In order to help us, we will make a number line. On our number line, we will mark the roots we got from step 3. Using our number line and roots, we can make intervals to test. First, we will test intervals, then the roots. We test when x is less than 0. We pick negative 1 to test and plug it into the inequality. Since 3 is not less than 0, this interval is not a solution. Next, we will test when 0 is less than x, which is less than 1 half. We test 1 fourth and see that negative 1 eighth is less than 0, so this interval is a solution. So we will mark this interval on our number line. Next, we will check if x is greater than 0 is a solution. We test 1 and see that 1 is not less than 0, so this is not a solution. Now we will test the roots. We test x equals 0. We can see that 0 is not less than 0, so this isn't a solution. Next, we check if x equals 1 half a solution. 0 is not less than 0, so this is not a solution. By looking at our number line and work below, we can see that 0 is less than x, which is less than 1 half, is the solution. Last example, we have x squared plus x minus 20 is greater than or equal to 0. First, we want to move all terms to one side of the inequality. This is already done, so we move on to the next step. Next, we set the quadratic expression equal to 0. Then, we solve for x. We factor the inequality and get x plus 5 times x minus 4 equals 0. So we set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. We get x equals negative 5 and x equals 4. 
Finally, we want to test the intervals and roots which we got from step 3. Here is our number line with 0 and our roots are marked. First, we will test the interval x is less than negative 5. We test negative 6 in our inequality and see that 10 is greater than or equal to 0, so this inequality is a solution. We will mark this inequality on our number line. Next, we see if negative 5 is less than x, which is less than 4, is a solution. We test 0 and see that negative 20 is not greater than or equal to 0, so this is not a solution. Next, we check if x is greater than 4 is a solution. We test 5 and see that 10 is greater than or equal to 0, so this is a solution and we will mark this interval on the number line. Next, we test if x equals negative 5 is a solution. Since 0 is greater than or equal to 0, this is a solution and we fill in the circle on negative 5. Next, we test x equals 4. Since 0 is greater than or equal to 0, 4 is a solution and so we fill the circle in at 4. We can take a look at our number line and now write our solution. Our solution is x is less than or equal to negative 5 or x is greater than or equal to 4. Solving quadratic inequalities can be tricky because there is a lot of work involved, but with practice you can do it. For more help or practice on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab.